Mojo Maker. All right, so let me tell you a little story. About a year or so ago, I was working with this guy. And as we were getting acquainted, he asked me, so how do you define what you do? And as I can sometimes do, I kind of took a roundabout way to talk about my work. And in the end, he kind of cut to the chase and summed it up. He said, so you're a happiness coach. I've got to admit, I, I cringed a little bit when he said this. You know, I've spent a lot of time, energy, and money becoming a professional. And I've worked in the hardcore trenches of mental health work, and I've, I've got tried and true training, and I'm a little weary of the coaching Ponzi schemes out there. But for sure, I am also super far from being a typical therapist. So in the few seconds after he said this, during my cringe that felt like a lifetime, he followed with, man, I totally need a happiness coach. And something about that really set me at ease. You know, as much as we all try to feel good about who we are and what we're doing in the world, it can be really nice when someone truly sees your value, right? So it also helped that this guy is at the top of his game. He's the president and COO of a big company. Obviously, I can't say what company for confidentiality reasons, but he's got a lot on his plate. Tons of responsibility as far as leadership, management, production, and fiscal responsibility. But you know, he's also a dad. He has a few kids, including a daughter with special needs. He's a husband. He's got interests and goals beyond work. He's a friend, he's a son, and so much more. And like a lot of us, life was just getting to the point where he felt like he was always putting out fires, like it was one obligation after another, like it had lost its zest and its deeper meaning. He often felt like he didn't get enough rest, downtime, or fun. A typically confident guy, he was starting to get more anxious. His marriage was feeling the pinch and he and his partner were growing more and more overwhelmed. And even though he was making bank and going on nice vacations and driving nice cars and giving to charity from time to time, he was like, yeah, I totally need a happiness coach. So it's taken me some time to own this role, I will admit. When we go to try to do something awesome in life, we are sometimes confronted with a petty little internal critic who says things like, who do you think you are? But who I really am is someone who was once depressed to the point of being on death's door. Someone who once had panic attacks 20 times a day. Someone who once was going blind from traumatic brain injury. Someone who once was on the brink of divorce. Someone who is now joyful much, much, much more of the time. Someone who can access deep and restorative states of peace, equanimity, and love. Someone who is now on fire with a sense of purpose and meaning. Someone who has totally restored my vision and depth perception and totally healed brain trauma after decades of getting worse. Someone who is cultivating a sacred marriage and leading a family in a way that is producing pretty outstanding results. So, I guess, I am a happiness coach. And the mojo maker is the fruit of my last 20 years of personal and professional labor. We start another cohort soon and participants will be guided step by step through a process that can't fail if it is engaged. Yes, I said that. If you do this stuff, it can't not work. The only reason I can't guarantee this program is one, because I don't want to come off like a cheesy car salesman, and two, because I can't decide if you will show up. But if you do, we will dial in and up, sleep, deep rest, deep awake, exercise, movement, nutrition, hydration, hormones, chemistry, effective thinking, emotional intelligence, soul crafting, creativity, fun, play, beauty, and contribution. So the question is, do you need a happiness coach? Are you willing to give yourself three months to get back to better than ever? 
Reach out to me for details. I'm available all over the internet, LOL. <laughs> Seek and you shall find. Because after all, together we thrive.